urgent search effort continues in western Pennsylvania right now for a missing grandmother. Now, authorities believe she fell into a deep sinkhole. Today, rescuers are battling the freezing temperatures, and officials say this sinkhole is extremely unstable. ABC's Rena Roy is following the latest developments. 64-year-old Elizabeth Pollard could be deep inside this 30-foot sinkhole, according to authorities. Rescuers racing against the clock to find her in freezing cold temperatures. Crews meticulously searching for any sign of the western Pennsylvania grandmother. Basically, all of southwestern Pennsylvania is concerned, and, and, and so are we, about uh, Elizabeth and, and trying to to find her. Officials say Pollard went missing Monday night just outside of Pittsburgh while searching for her cat with her five-year-old granddaughter. Family members calling police who found the little girl unharmed inside her grandmother's car, but no sign of Pollard. Police finding the sinkhole just 15 feet away. State police were originally looking for two individuals. They found one. They believe a second individual may be in a sinkhole. And we appreciate everybody's support in this time right now. Um, all we're really doing is hoping for the best. The search and rescue operation delicate and now shifting. Authorities say the integrity has been compromised by the water they're using to break up the ground and now it could take longer to reach Pollard. The integrity of that mine is starting to to become compromised. It's putting some of the people at risk and we're probably going to have to switch gears. Officials concerned about the ground collapsing in what's an old coal mining area. It, it might seem bleak but you know, in my heart of hearts, we're pushing forward to try and you know, find her. And it, and it breaks my heart because I know that people want answers and I know the family wants answers. Officials who arrived first say they nearly fell into the same hole, so they are trying to be as safe as possible in this process. As many as 100 people joining the rescue effort. In New York, Rena Roy for Channel 6 Action News.